What's going on guys? Jonathan here with TLD. Going to show you guys how smooth or not smooth, depending on how this video turns out, Final Cut Pro 10 runs on the new MacBook Air. Specifically, this is the 11.6 inch model, the Intel Core i5 1.6 GHz CPU, 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of SSD flash storage. We are using OS 10 Lion, so let's go to use one of the new features, Launchpad, shabam. See how quickly Final Cut Pro 10 opens up in the dock. One, two, three, you guys count along four, is that four or five? Four or five bounces, pretty speedy, not too shabby, as it should be on the SSD. So I have a couple Mac Mini clips this is from the unboxing I just did. If you guys missed that, there will be a link at the end of this video as well as down below in the description. For the sake of this video, we're going to shoot to make this around 30 seconds. Uh, so let's go ahead and select a clip. Go ahead and scrub through this. And this is 1080p video, so it's handling no problem so far. It looks like I got... That looks like a nice little stationary shot. In point, we'll leave the out point as is. We're going to hit E to drop it into the timeline. It's also like a mini Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial as well, sandwiched together. It's like all good stuff. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and select one more clip. This is the back of the Mac Mini. One. We'll leave that out point and E again. Let's go ahead and hide this just to get a little more screen real estate. Slide this over. It is a little weird uh, moving on this little 11 inch screen. It's kind of small. Everything's so little. Uh, let's get one more clip right here. We got the uh, owner's manual, just for the sake of this video. We should be getting pretty close. I'm not going to really be too OCD. Drag that in. And we're at 44 seconds. Let's go ahead and uh, trim this down to 30. So we're right around 30 seconds. We're going to leave it right there. Nope. 29, 30. Okay. That's going to be for the export test part of this video. Um, so we have one clip in here. Let's see how it renders uh, an effect right here. Let's go ahead and apply this filter to it, like so. So there we go. I'm going to modify this, actually. So let's head over to the inspector. And, and it's going to reduce the size a little bit. So we're changing effects in real time. So far, so good. The fan's kicking up a little bit. You guys can probably see the temperature. It's getting a little hot there. So we're pushing this little guy. So we'll go ahead and stop it there. 8%, 10%. So it's actually moving pretty good. So again, this is the Core i5 1.6 gigahertz CPU, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and I'm going to be yapping a little bit right now as this does this. Got to do a little Jeopardy music or something, but if you guys picked up a new MacBook Air, leave me a comment down below how you guys are enjoying this. Love hearing you guys' feedback. Interact with some comments, so I'll be sure to answer some of you guys' questions. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, make sure to do that. You guys can always interact with me that way. At TLD today, we're just about done, and there's the 100% point, so... That wasn't too bad at all as far as the uh, background render goes on the MacBook Air. So now what we're going to do that we applied the one effect right there. Uh, let's go ahead and get the inspector out of the way. Um, for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and do uh, Command Shift F. That's going to give us full screen. And you guys should see this is handling HD video, no problem. And that's with the effect running right now. Escape out of that. And let's go ahead and set an export out. So again, I got screen flow recording all this stuff. So there's a lot going on for this little MacBook Air to handle all this stuff. So export movie. We're going to select H.264. Next step, Final Cut Pro 10 test documents, all good. And I am going to end this video with some music for you guys to watch this uh, speed test right here of the export. So it's a 1080p, 30 second uh, export in Final Cut Pro 10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other requests or videos you'd like to see, I'll try to do as many as possible. So leave me some feedback down below. How are you guys liking these MacBook Air videos? Got some Mac Mini videos coming up very soon. And I'll catch you guys later.